Hey yo, what's good coders? This is Bugger Ray, and as you know, my job is to help simplify these coding concepts. So in this video, I'll be helping you add a feature to your C Sharp backend to allow a user to upload a file um, via uh, form data, right? So if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and help me get to that 1K subscribers. So enough with the numbers, and now let's get our hands dirty with the code. So first and foremost, let's first add the files that we're going to need right so we're going to need like a helpers folder uh helpers folder so this is helpers right and also a folder that we're gonna use to actually where we're gonna actually uh, upload our images right so www root folder and this root folder this icon should change into like a web uh, 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 icon so if that doesn't work then you'd need to first unload the project okay, save and just reload that project and that should voila change all right so now let's get to our task control and actually add that endpoint so our endpoint is going to be from like an http post http post right and then our route to that will be just upload right so we're gonna use a public async task right i action result and then this is gonna be upload file right and this is gonna be coming from our form and this is an i form file and the name of that is gonna be the file and then we're gonna just wrap this with like a try catch right so try catch catch right exception ex and we're gonna say if we do catch an exception we want to just return like a problem and the problem is going to be like um a problem is like a status code 500 and then we're going to say ex dot message over here and then if that is successful we want to just return like um, a message to the user specifying that you have uh, uploaded your file successfully right okay that's fine over there and then in here we're just gonna say call uh, file saver function right all right that's all we need and then in our helpers uh, folder we're going to add a class over here which is called file saver right file saver that's the name of our actual uh, class and then we're going to need like a global variable over here which is uh, our i host um, environment env and then we're gonna use like this constructor which is the file uh, file saver all right and then we're just gonna inject this i will host environment and that's just gonna be env right and then we're just gonna say env and then that right so now we're going to actually create our actual function so our function is going to be a public async task and then file save a async i'm very na bad in naming functions and uh, variables so yeah so this is all that we're going to need over there and now let's actually go yeah to our actual uh, controller and add some stuff so first and foremost what we need to add over here is like say private i web host right because we're gonna need that i web host when we actually instantiate our file saver right so this is underscore right environment right and then we're also gonna need like our file saver right which is going to be file saver that right so what we need is i host env and then we'll say i underscore env 
equals to that and then we'll just say underscore like we will instantiate our we will instantiate our file saver so how we do that is say underscore file saver equals to new file saver and then we just pass in that underscore env into our constructor so yeah that's all we need over there right um so now let's just go now uh modify our actual uh, file saver function right so this function should accept two parameters so the first parameter is the form i form file no i form file which is like a file and then this is also another parameter which is going to be our file path right so that's the two parameters that we need. So now let's write comments of what we're going to need, right? The steps um, into uh, that we're going to need in order for us to actually save like a file, right? So we first want to create our, want to create our file name, right? We want to create our route. So that's the second step. Um, and then we want to check if, so we want to check if route so check if directory exists if if not we want to create a directory right and then after that we want to say we want to create our file route right and with our file route we're going to say using our file stream and then we will just copy our file right yeah so that's the steps that we're going to need so now let's go about implementing this so first and foremost, for our file uh, file name we need a string right because we know our file name um consists of like the name and the extension of the file so we we'll say file name and how we go about doing that is and uh, dollar sign and we're just gonna create the string right so because we don't want to have two files with uh, duplicate names, uh, we'd want to like just use like a unique name. So we're going to use this um, uh, with like a good, right? So we just have like new good, and C Sharp will just do all the magic for us to create like unique names, right? So, and then we also know that our file has a file extension. So how we actually get the extension of that file we're uploading is do the path dot get extension and then this extension is coming from our file dot file name right all right so now we've closed that now we see a uh, string route and how we get like our actual route this is coming from a combination from our actual environments uh, web route path and our actual file path right so combine so we want to combine the two this is coming from the env dot uh, web route and actually our file path all right so our file path is actually going to be something like assets for slash images all right so now we want to check if um so first and foremost we just say does this um this directory exist right right of this route right but now we want to negate this and say if this directory doesn't exist right uh, we want to create that directory so how we go about creating the directory we'll just say directory dot create directory and we're going to use our route to create that directory so now we want to like uh, create our file route right so file route um so our file route is going to be like a combination of our route and our file name so this is a combination of our route and our file name so this route is where our files uh, the, our actual file will exist and the file name is the actual <laughs> name of that file right together with its extension so the extensions like .png uh, uh jpeg and etc etc um so now we're gonna say using our file stream fx fs and then we're just gonna say file dot create create that file 
and then uh, now we want to say await right because this might take time to actually copy like this file right so we want to just await that and then we'll say from this file want to read open uh, open read stream right um, and then we want to say copy to async right and then pass in our file stream and this is all we need this is like this magical function that's going to help us actually um, upload our file right so now we just need to call this uh, function in our actual uh, endpoint right so how we actually call it is this underscore this underscore file saver right uh, dot and then we'll just say file save async function and we're going to pass in this file and our actual path file path so our file path will be assets forward slash images and i guess that's all we just need so i guess this is all we need and uh, now this is like the time uh, for a moment of truth and see if our actual function actually works right all right um so now we're running our back end and let's go so first and foremost let's just say do a request that's not found see over there this is just not found and now let's just try to upload something right so we've got this image over here which is this download image right and then uh, let's just say open and then say because this is task for slash upload and then now we're just trying to check if we can upload this download image so you have uploaded your file successfully okay now let's go and see our actual uh, ww uh, root folder now it has something it has assets images and this is the new file that we've uploaded right okay so that's all we needed so now let's go to like um our actual downloads and now let's check this file this is the cool file we're trying to also upload this file right as you can see we don't we only have one file so now let's rerun our actual service and actually try to upload that file and see if that works right um so back to postman now we remove this select another file and we want to upload this file now right so upload you have uploaded your file successfully there was a spelling mistake here but uh never mind you'll fix that all right so now let's stop our service and actually see right so if we try to up, uh, view that okay now we see that we've also uploaded that other file so this works so if you like the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe now peace